Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. In, in today's video, I'm going to be going over at the AWS key pair for Terraform. Now, you may come across a time when you'll need to deploy an EC2 instance or um, maybe a Windows instance, but you're going to need a key pair to be able to um, remote into that Linux instance. And to do that, there's a you know a, a way we can do that with, on our local machine and then import that into AWS using Terraform. So to do that, I'm gonna be using this resource here. Um, and then I already have uh, my Terraform file configured from a previous uh, lab. So basically, it's just a simple um, connection to my cloud organization. Um, I created a new workspace. And then my provider is gonna be AWS. Now the region I'm gonna be using is USC2, but you can use any region that you want to. The only difference that this is going to make is the AMI that you're going to be using. Now I'm not pulling this dynamically, so if in order to find this, you may need to go into the uh, AWS console to find that. And to do that, you can go to aws.amazon.com, sign into your console, and then you'll want to go to EC2. And I'm just going to be using the t2.micro free tier. So if you go into launch instance, down here you'll see the AMI that's created for the Amazon Linux. So you can actually copy that. And I'm in the Ohio region, so you want to make sure the region you choose, which I'm using US East 2, is also um, determined here as well. So this is just for a, a lab. This isn't for best practice of any sort. And the way I'm going to do this um, is typically just mainly for like a, de a development environment. So I'm going to be putting our key in here. And then the reason being is I can destroy this um, when I'm done. So I have my Linux instance here. I have my AWS security group. And I also have this uh, information on my blog as well. So you'll be able to copy the information from there into your own template if you want to tr uh, test this out. So what we're going to need is on our Terraform page, um, we're going to copy this example here, but we're just going to change some stuff up. So let's go ahead and copy this. And let's go ahead and paste that down in here. Okay, so we got that copied in. I'm going to just, you know, a key name, I'm just going to call it AWS underscore key. And then for the resource name, I'm just going to call it um, AWS or dev key. So we got that created. So now what we need to do is we need to generate this public key. And we can do that utilizing um, uh, SSH. So if you have it installed, um, you can just do SSH keygen. Um, you can also, you know, find this online if you don't have it. And then we're going to use the type. It's going to be RSA. Then the bits is going to be 2048. Now I'm going to save this into a different folder on my C drive. So I'm going to go ahead and create that folder here. And then if we're going to just call another folder, I'm just going to call this key. And then what we're going to do is go C dollar sign key and then key. No passphrase and no password. So now that that gets created, go in here. We should have our public key and our private key. So what we do need to do is we need to open this up. We need to copy the uh, open with notepad. We need to copy all of this. And we're going to swap all of this out. Okay, so we got that copy of that pasted. And then in our instance, we're going to need to reference this key. So we're going to go in and we're going to put security actually let me see what the name of that is so we can actually go to instance uh, let me see 
CDR, we know instance. And let's see where we're at here. So AWS instance, and then there should be an option for key. I think it's a uh, key underscore name. Just want to make sure here. Do a control F key, key name. So key name, key underscore name equals, and then that's going to be AWS underscore key. Now, the thing is with this, that key needs to be created before this can. So what we're going to need to do is, I have my block here, so this is going to depend, so this depends on, so if we actually look this up, so we just go depends on Terraform. So basically we're just saying we need to create that key before we create this instance. So you see how it has depends on a AWS IAM role policy.example. We're going to have AWS, I think it's AWS key pair, key pair dot dev key. Okay, so we have that. So you can see, same thing there. And then if you look up here, AWS IAM role policy dot example. So now that we got that set, we should get this created, then apply there, and then we'll be all set. So now I'm gonna do a Terraform plan. Uh, let's see, argument or... Oh, let's see. It says, what's our argument or block is required to set up our user equal sign? Let's see what I might have missed here. Oh, it depends on equals. Okay, yeah. There we go. And then once that runs, so this is actually uh, um, connected up to Terraform Cloud. So a little bit of a delay, but um, basically what it's going to do is run through, see everything that's needed, and uh, basically write out a plan of what's going to be done. So as you can see here, we got three things being added. We got a security group being added. We have a AWS key pair being added. And then we have an instance here up, up at the top being added. So once this comes through here, we'll do a Terraform apply. And this is just good practice to do to kind of make sure that you didn't typo something and you didn't destroy something you shouldn't be. So you can do Terraform apply. And I'm already going to, um, uh, I think it's auto approve. Basically what that's going to do is just uh, not force me to say yes there at the end since I already know what I want to do there. This might take a little bit of a second here. And then now as these start to uh, get created, we should see the key get generated um, in AWS, the public key. And then now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and convert our key here to a key we can use on our Windows instance. So what I usually typically do is I'll use putty gen. And what you can do is you can load in your private key and just go all files and this one here. And then I'm going to save the private key. And then just call it new key.ppk. Now you might be able to change the file name extension, but I usually just do it that way just in case like there's some formatting changes that actually Putty does or anything. But so once that's done, so we got our three things added. 
So if we go into AWS, we should see everything configured here. So we got our instance. So we got our instance running. Uh, we got our security group that's allowing us port 22 in. And then we should see our key pair created here, AWS key. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to load this in. So I use a tool called PA Agent. It's already running. So then I'll just come here, right click it, and hit Add Key. And then I'm going to hit New Key. And then what I'm going to do is then go to my instance here. I'm going to take the private or the public um, DNS name and then we're going to open that up in PuTTY. And then paste that in there and then hit open. I'm going to go ahead and say yes there. And then to get your username, you can just hit connect and then it's EC2 user. You can see it there or you can change it. So EC2 user. And there you go, and that's it. And that's how you get uh, your AWS key um, generated um, from your computer and then imported into uh, AWS. Now this is great just for dev. I mean, there's uh, probably, there's more best practice ways of doing that, um, but it's just great if you just want a quick dev environment to keep reinitializing the key, um, you know, maybe every day when you're, you know, starting a new environment or something like that. So. That's it. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment down there below. Um, but like I said, I'll leave the, uh, I'll redact some of the information out of here. And then um, I'll post this online for you guys to go ahead and check out. So once you're done, you just do a Terraform destroy. And then that gets rid of it. So once we're done there, you just, you know, go ahead and remove everything. That removes everything out of your environment so that way you don't get charged for anything you don't want to. So again, you know, thanks for tuning in. You know, hope to see you next time. Again, if you uh, it's the first time checking out my video, go ahead and check out my blog, letmetechyou.com, and I'll be posting some uh, blog articles there as well. Again, thanks for tuning in. Have a nice day.